So you guys, let's talk about the things that happened in the house yesterday from their wager to the games night to the situation with Nelly. So welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, please go to subscribe, turn on your post notifications so that you can get notified each time I post a brand new video. And do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. So I'm going to begin with the Nelly situation because till now it's hard for me to really understand why they usually steal in Big Brother's house. And this is not the first time this is happening. They steal food, they steal um your, you know your personal items, maybe clothes earring whatever hair i think there was a time where somebody was saying that she she, she she was looking for her hair or something like that but like how do they even do it like a place where there are cameras everywhere people are watching you 247 you're not gonna be stealing somebody's thing then the food on like this particular one this nelly situation they literally kept the food i think in the microwave or so and went for their wager i think it was yeah it was for their wager they kept it there went back and it wasn't there anymore they didn't go back immediately so maybe um whoever took it may have taken it after the wager or you know just whenever they took it in fact whenever the person took it it, it makes no sense to me a full plate of food this house is not going to it's not going to contain everybody bear shit now food what's that if i stand my own there eh, nobody go fit stand though i go even do my own pony and nobody go do anything huh? i kept bear shit today brought the like the carrier now food it's even you that kept it because if it was me now it would be like say now nah, chris i did chris these housemates, their ginger is not even strong because even the way she was just saying it, if it, uh, this house not contain everybody, I say, okay. It's giving very mindful, very demure because that one will be better ginger. If you see hook you, you will ginger very well. Even I am um, also was telling her that, you know, should he give her his food? I think he wanted to just give them, you know, something extra food. And they were like, it's okay, it's fine. That that one is okay for them. So apparently the one that they had, the remaining one, was okay for them to eat. So they're like, okay, we're just going to settle for this, right? So, yeah, like I said, their ginger is not very strong. Let's not talk about the their games before we talk about the wager. So for the game situation, last night they decided to like play games. And it was Wani, um, it was Handy that Wani and Handy, they were trying to, they were the ones that tried to ginger it at first. The housemates were not really like um, responding on time. And then Handy, um, Wani now got angry and she lost her ginger. She lost her mood. Handy now took over. So later on, the housemates came down and they basically had things written down on paper. And all you had to do was to act it out. So it could be act like a drunk person, act like somebody that is looking for a job or somebody that's trying to seduce their boss just different things for them to act or act like a housemate so it was quite interesting actually and then for one of them we had handy that was acting like um someone that's trying to i think seduce le her lecturer or so uh, i'm just kidding even though all the age just did this you know so that's basically what the game was about all the housemates participated there was a scene where the twins had to act like you know they were caught in the act and then um, we also had to he acted like um sean and then you know just all of them just coming out to do different things it was actually fun um, in general and then um they also played the my p my d my p is this like you use a word to describe your private parts <laughs> so um i think the i don't know if you guys remember this particular game from the previous season but um you, you just shasha if you shall fail because i don't want to be pronouncing those things here so if you fail um this was the part where they now introduced theirs right so if you fail they're going to dare you and then for cassia when she failed they then had to move around and back um you know she should just crawl and back like a dog then there was a part where Osi was demonstrating and Victoria was trying to guess but she didn't really get it so they were just having like this little argument and then Osi now threw a pillow at her and then you know we just hit her head right 
And the next scene, Cassia, you know, went into defense mood. She was like, don't hit her like that. You know, like, not like in a serious way, but it was just cute to see, like, she noticed what happened there. And she was like, don't do that. And then um, it was now between Ose and Cassia. She now had to use pillow <laughs> to go and um, hit him back. Mr. Nigeria, they're not the same thing. But you said my children. Look at this round, you guys can. I really like the friendship between Cassia and Victoria. It's so nice to see. Um, they even have a ship named Castoria, right? So that's a ship that people are shipping. So it's actually really nice to see. They, you just know that they have each other's back, and it feels very genuine. It feels like a genuine friendship there. So it's cool. Then, um. Another dare that they gave was for um, Victoria to squat, like I think 10 times or so. And then also there was a dare that they gave Sean to just use Wani and demonstrate a position. And Kyle, they say he's not going to show us. What made it annoying was the fact that the housemates were, like their reaction just made it like made, made me want to see it more. They like they had opened, they opened their mouths. They were like, ah, ah, and I'm like, okay, Kaede, why are you not showing us what's going on here? These people were putting on their clothes, and this is just him demonstrating his position. Demonstrating, I think it was doggy position that he was demonstrating. So, like, so it was quite annoying that we did not see that. Then there was one that was very funny. <laughs> So it was, um, so first of all, they dared Anita to like, um, try to seduce, um, Tofa. They dared Anita to try to seduce Tofa. And then she did her own normal, like a normal situation. They now dared Tofa to try to like, you know, just seduce Anita basically. And the way he did it, <laughs> God, he was very, um, somebody, somebody, I think it was Kelly Wade that said, give me like a bus conductor because of how he was acting. And then he had to even do cat's wheel as a, I don't even know what inspired that, but it was actually very funny. I liked that he um, did it like that. <laughs> <laughs> that about yeah so <laughs> they now they also did and victoria was actually the one that did cassia to give her a lap dance and then um after that what else which other day nothing really serious they just you know went to bed from there for their wager presentation um the team of the movie so you guys know that they made a movie like during the week they um they shot a movie in, it, they produced a movie in the house right they had cameras and they acted it in the house they now put it together so yesterday was for big brother to now play the movie so it was basically like a movie night but big brother made it in form of like a movie premiere like the whole stage was set up um they came in did interviews with their red carpet outfits just Everything that you find like at a movie premiere, not as gege, but you guys get. So that is how he set up the arena. Food, everything, everything was there. And then Sofa and Victoria were the ones that were inter interviewing the casts of the movie and the guests. We had Cassia that was taking pictures of them, you know, red carpet um, picture type thing. My sister's in a movie and I just want to see how everything goes. I'm pretty excited for tonight. Hmm, I'm pretty sure we are going to have so much fun. Yes, how are you feeling tonight? Oh, I'm feeling amazing. So happy to be here. And I'm also saying, you look wonderful yourself. Oh. What's the brain behind your outfit? Like, what inspired this look? I love white and black. And then, um, when they were done with that, they now sat to watch the movie. Anita was the host and she did a good job yeah the name of the movie is no god lost and in the movie we had some people that had like different things that they were dealing with drug, drug addiction abuse um just basically um i think sean spoke about his football injury so in the movie they have like they were having a therapy session right while they were sharing their experiences it was showing a throwback 
right so that's how they put the movie together a therapy session and the throwback so yeah that's basically how um it was then after that they now came out one by one to share their stories i didn't think that was necessary because they had already shared it in the house and that was what um, that's what they used to put the movie together so i didn't feel like they needed to share it again they already put that part together so but then yeah they came out and they shared their stories and then um the producer the director um photographer i mean a videographer the, the producer Sha, came out on stage to give their speech as like a closing speech and then what else at the end of the day they shall won their wager we brother did not say much um for this one and i think it's because of um it's like a sensitive wager in a way they had to share their stories and these are things that traumatized them you know before so yeah i guess that's why he didn't want to start doing oh he did this he did not do it well you know you know that kind of thing he just um, told them that they um won their wager so it's basically like a hat trick this is the this is the third wager that they are winning in a row and i believe next week they'll still win most times they win more closer when they get closer to the end so i think yeah that's basically it for this video just let me give you guys a quick quick update so thanks for watching and do not forget to give this video a thumbs up and i'll get to see you on the next one bye i love you